ladies and gentlemen, this is the month of April. April, ladies and gentlemen, this is the month of April. All right, April is the Wheel of Fortune, so it's a fire, a really fiery, fiery month, and that is good. So whatever is transpiring in this month is going to be, it's going to be a very lucky month. April is the Wheel of Fortune, so um, there is going to be a lot of luck. Luck is going to be coming up in the month of April. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into reading and see what is coming up in the fourth two weeks. So, um, number five, the visionaire, a corporation institution. Whatever is happening in transpiring, some of you are going to be dealing with your company, something at your company, or a government institution organization in the month of April. So be ready for this. Um, this is the energy of Taurus. It's the energy of love. It's the energy of a group of people um, that is going to be working towards um, helping some of you. So this is going to be wonderful, okay? Then uh, we look at the second week, the Wheel of Fortune. The energy of the month is the Wheel of Fortune. This is really wonderful. So the second week is going to be a very, very lucky week. Be aware of this. Be connected and aware of that in um, the month of April, the second week is going to be a beautiful week. In the third week, light is now shed on a, a situation that was happening in Transpar. Um, you're going to be finding out things that was kept back in a corporation institution. People are now recognizing and seeing the truth. Um, however, it is document, data, information, clarity is now coming in in the third week of April. That is going to be good. And in the fourth and last week, I see the shadow, the energy of the shadow. This is 15. This is the devil. Okay, so um, people are not recognizing some sort of a foul play that was happening and transpiring. So um, this is going to be good. A lot of people are going to be dealing with the situation. Let's pull this out and see if you guys can see it. Or maybe I need to bring the camera up. It is going to be a really positive, um, positive month that is going to be happening and transpiring. So whatever is happening, um, be not aware, be not afraid. Okay, I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I don't want to break the the reading, but I gotta get the camera lower. Okay. So as we get the camera lower, you guys can see. All right, there we go. So again, um, we are seeing. What is happening? What is transpiring? So April is uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always a karmatic situation. Things is coming back from the past uh, and affecting you in the future. And this is going to be good because what is transpiring is that we have, we begin the month of April with a heart energy. This is going to be um, fantastic. Then we have fire. So we have heart, which is the organization institution, the Wheel of Fortune, water light um water so we have earth fire and water um showing up things and then we have the energy of the devil number 15 at the end of the month so um this is wonderful water people expect um some sort of a um transition the end of the devil the the, the devil is a uh, um, a situation where um, things could have been going on in a corporation institution and now light is going to be shedding. Um, so we see that uh, um, people in a corporation institution is uh, putting things together. It's as if looking back at past details and information and recognizing that there was some sort of an unconventional um, problem situation and uh, um, they're going to be resolving this. Uh, the energy of the shadow, we got to look and see what's coming up in the last week uh, with the energy of the shadow, because obviously there was some sort of a shadow playing, some sort of a shadow um, duality, duality. And when duality comes up, it is always about uh, 
people that was creating some sort of an illusion and now it is going to be coming out so light um is going to be shedding on some sort of a dishonesty that was being played in a corporation institution and people are now going to be recognizing what was happening what was transpiring and how people um create um duality in a, a, some sort of a situation um, where there was duality with uh, data information in a corporation institution. As we look at uh, the first week deeper, um, we are now, I'm trying to, yeah, we're now um, seeing the energy of temperance, 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 temperance. Temperance is another earth energy, which is good. And this is really positive because a corporation institution is now bringing some sort of a, balance to some sort of an issue issues that was going on in a corporation institution they're now bringing balance in and is helping a lot of you to recognize or they themselves is seeing um what was transpiring in this corporation institution okay so whatever the issue the problem the situation is and was this corporation institution is going to be bringing balance because they're now recognizing and seeing um what was happening and transpired so you have another earth energy then we have uh, um the um another earth energy so this is going to be a good 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 beginning of april for a lot of people this is the general energy so we have a uh, um, the Institute's Corporation bringing balance and I see um, that a lot of you that was having issues problem with your wife or your mom or your financial stability some sort of a balance is now going to be regained because people are now recognizing and seeing exactly what was transpiring how a corporation institution some sort of a um, undeserved a play that was happening with your materialistic stability, people are now recognizing that uh, there was some sort of an inconsiderate situation that was transpiring. So, whatever is happening with your mother or your um, um, your your financial status, uh, stability, um, I see things are going to be uh, resolving. So the the first week is a hurt week, full hurt week. So we have first the energy of the Taurus. Um, then uh, the energy of the Virgo is going to be affected. Then the energy of the Capricorns, the mothers, the nurturers. Uh, um, this is uh, um, earth in water. That is our water in earth, earth in water. That is happening and transpiring. As we look at the second week, the second week is a fire week and justice comes up in the second week. Uh, it's a very fiery week. It is uh, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune with justice, which is very, very powerful. So there was some sort of an injustice situation in a corporation institution. Balance was brought in the, the first week. And in the second week, I see justice is coming in in order to make sure that this balance is being created. And this is going to be very, very positive. All right. Then... um. Um, we see in a strength, in a strength, um, that a lot of you have to find in a strength to deal with your mother or your wife in the second week, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. Some of you really have to go within to deal with and find in a strength to deal with an issue, a problem that is going to be coming up with your financial stability. Um, that is going to be affecting some of you. We're going to be looking at who is going to be affecting this energy of strength is always the energy of the Sagittarian trying to bring so forward some sort of a balance. I see Sagittarian, um, justice could be coming up on Sagittarian. And if your mom is a Sagittarian, that could be affecting you. All right, let's look at the third week. The third week is the energy of the Empress and we have victory and success. The energy, the third week is the energy of the Hermit and we have um, victory moving forward. But this is a, a situation where it's not really victory. It is about moving forward. Light has been shed on some sort of a information and by that, uh, 
um, you're going to be moving forward because it's as if people recognize and see some sort of information that was left out or information that was not properly, um, um, yeah, properly uh, dated. Okay, it's as if someone uh, had leaved out some sort of a data that was supposed to be in your information documentation, and they're going to be recognizing that it was left out on purpose because someone wanted to do something, someone wanted to create some sort of a issues and balance, and this is the reason why um someone expressively left that. Uh, uh, a space data or information and didn't fill in something and now people are recognizing and by that i see justice is coming in to move through whatever was happening another good energy in the third week so the energy of the hermit bring light to a situation some sort of a situation where information was left out and they're now recognizing that it was purposely left out. They're now looking and looking back at things and situation and recognize that it was purposely left out. And now and the energy of the magician is coming in to bring some sort of a balance because they recognize that there was some sort of a foul play that has transpired. And now they are balancing this out because they recognize that information was not properly filled in. And there was a reason because someone had another agenda. Then um, we're looking at the fourth week. The fourth week is that uh, the energy of the devil is there. And uh, the secrets of uh, Whoever that was doing something unconventional is going to be coming out. So whoever this person is and whatever that was happening and transpiring, they're now recognizing that a group of people have done something where they subsequently leave out information, some sort of information, and was using some sort of data and information, or did not give enough information to someone or um, full out some sort of a formula um, correctly is because they um, had their secrets that was, uh, um, they had a lot of secrets. So a group of people, they're going to be recognizing because the shadow energy is that there was duality. Someone was creating a whole lot of duality um, in a corporation institution. At the end of the day, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a new story. It's as if people have now recognized the foul play that was happening and transpiring. And a lot of you are going to be having a new story ending this month of uh, April. Um, leaving April, having some sort of a new start because the energy of the magician is right behind it. Okay. So the significance of this month is that justice is going to be coming in and uh, moving you forward because they are now recognizing light is now shedding on a situation. So justice so with the energy of the chariot is that justice came in in order to balance out some sort of an unconventional play that people were bringing to the table. Or people had their own agenda. A whole lot of people who had their own agenda, their secrets is now going to be coming out. And that is going to be giving you a move moving forward because it's as if um, uh, the universe come in and said, no, nope, it's not going to be happening. Um, whatever the play is and was, it's not going to be happening. We're going to be making sure that the situation is now resolved once and for all. And this is going to be good. So um, let's um, um, refresh and go in and see the transition that was playing and the transition that was transpiring. So we're going back to look at the first week. The first week uh, is a hurt week. It's a full hurt week. Ladies and gentlemen, the first week is a full hurt week. Uh, and the first week, uh, um, they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of an unconventional situation that was happening in a corporation institution. And it says that managers, people from higher ops, uh, higher heads, authority came in and said, no, no, no. 
um, this situation needs to be resolved. However, and whatever that was happening in transpiring, this situation needs to be resolved because now they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a foul play that was happening and transpiring. And they're going to be looking at the situation in details and recognize that um, there was um, people who had their own agenda doing things and was not doing things correctly. So a lot of uh, corruptcy uh, is going to be showing up um, in some sort of in your company, in um, a, a organization, institution, and they're going to be recognizing this and bringing this situation to a balance. So, um, you know, Earth people could be coming in, Taurus, um, Virgos and Capricorns is going to be coming in to help a lot of you in the first week, but also bringing back balance. So, especially the Virgos are going to be bringing back balance to a situation and the Capricorns are going to be helping you guys to give you a push to move forward and this is uh, going to be good okay so an older person for some of you could be coming in a mother figure um you know an older female energy is going to be coming in because this month is a masculine masculine energy and it's a masculine month so we have in the first week good energies a full heart week with justice and the magician showing you the way to move forward and this is going to be good as we look at the second week the wheel of fortune which is a fire sign and the wheel of fortune bring back some sort of a balance to some sort of an imbalance issues situation that was transpiring which give a lot of you a good push moving forward the wheel of fortune is going to help you to move forward and get a new start because whatever that was happening and transpiring is as if the pyramid over the second week is that there was some sort of unbalanced situation in a corporation institution and now we're recognizing that the wheel of fortune some sort of a karmatic situation from the past is coming out where people are now recognizing that there was um a people that had their own agenda and wanted to block a situation from moving forward and now this is no longer going to be the case because um you are going to be coming out in the second week for a lot of you in the second week having some sort of a new start okay and moving forward in a positive positive direction then we see justice came up on um a group of people that had their own agenda and was really um you know profiting from a whole lot of people um by using their own agenda and people are now going to be recognizing um exactly the play of these people and is going to be bringing it to, to an end so that is a uh, wonderful um then we're looking at light um light like the third week light is water it's where information comes out so um as i always say to you guys light and information is very important so we're looking at the third week and we see light come, came out uh, and um, justice came in and balanced out a situation because they recognized that people had their own agenda, okay? In every corporation institution, you will have people that have their own agenda and is, uh, um, you know, manifesting things for themselves by using their own agenda. And this is what is happening and transpiring. And they're going to be recognizing some sort of a foul play um, that was uh, being affected um, in the workplace and they're going to be recognizing how inconsiderable a lot of people was and what a lot of people have done um, so what we're seeing here and understanding is because the secrets secrets is going to be coming out so a corporation institution there is some sort of a secrets that is going to be coming out this corporation institution had people um, you know having their own agenda and held back some sort of a data information that was supposed to be full in and they kept it out so that people wouldn't know who is the right person who is what is the right details it's as if a corporation information has held back some sort of information that you were supposed to have and now it is coming out because they had their agenda and was using it for their own um, purpose so I see that this is going to be coming out and they're going to be recognizing what are strengths for and with by this some sort of an higher 
authority is going to be coming in and recognizing the secret and it's going to be bringing the situation to a balance because they now recognize the foul play that was happening and transpiring and people are going to be now on top of their games and making sure that certain things are dealt with properly and this is going to be good um right so third week is going to be also good it's going to be a very very good week especially if you were looking you applied for something and it was taking uh, long, taking very, very long, taking very long, then you're going to be recognizing why was this taking long is that they had to be investigating and looking at data and information and recognizing that a whole lot of people have been um, you, you're working under their own agenda and this is going to be coming up. Then we're looking at the fourth and last week. This is the energy of the devil, another water energy. And what was transpiring is that there was some sort of a situation where a lot of you were trying to find strength to deal with some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation that was created and you stood your ground and they're going to be recognizing something about a Sagittarian and a Leo. Some sort of a situation about a Sagittarian and a Leo is going to be coming out. So Sagittarian and Leo, if you add your own agenda and you were going on your own agenda they're going to be finding this out and recognizing that a Sagittarian and a Leo had worked together in order to block some sort of a information some sort of a communication and they're going to be recognizing what has transpired and the secrets of a Sagittarian and a Leo that was trying to create some sort of an unhealthy situation it has to do with a lot of you are going to be finding some sort of a problems and issue with some sort of a trouble document and data or moving forward because people had had their own agenda and was trying and their secret is going to be coming out. And as their secret comes out, a lot of you are going to be having this new shift of energy and this new shift pushing you forward in a very positive way. So what we see balance is going to be coming in definitely balance is going to be coming in some of you there was some sort of an imbalance situation that was happening and transpiring balance is definitely going to be coming in and i see people in authority or justice is going to be coming in in order to create an end to people who were having their own agenda because their secrets is going to be coming out then we recognize the energy of the nurturer so some of you could uh, mothers could be having some sort of a problem mothers could be having some sort of a problem and the energy of the magician is definitely going to be coming in and this energy of the magician is going to be removing things and making sure that things are correctly done whether these people whoever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring is as if the magician is going to be working together in order with people in authority and justice in order to bring some sort of a balance in order for people to have a new start moving forward so you're coming in the in the, in this uh, month of april with dealing with issues and situation in corporation institution at the end of uh, um the season you're going to be coming out and recognizing the play and what was transpiring then we look at the energy of the empress um overcoming um some sort of a self-motivation self-agenda from other people and now it is going to be balancing out because their secret is going to be coming out. So people who had their their self motivation or um you know their their own agenda, um the light is going to be shed and it is going to be coming out. So whatever is happening, a corporation institution is going to be bringing back some sort of a balance. I see a lot of people are going to be standing up um, for injustice and equality and making sure that a situation is uh, properly dealt with. I see inner strength. A lot of you are going to be finding inner strength. And those are the fire people who are going to be finding inner strength. I see the energy of the magician is showing up something that was applying and affecting a whole lot of you and uh, um, that is going to be releasing a lot of you and giving you a lot of new stories. So, you know, you could be blocked um, because some sort of a data and information was not filled in and people did it expressly and it's going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing what uh, the agenda of other people was in, was doing in 
a corporation institution. So you're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of information is going to be coming out um, with government institutes, the organization, um, you know, think, think of huge corporation. A lot of secrets is going to be coming out in huge corporation and people are going to be recognizing how their data and information have been used, um, slept or for um, people are going to be having that sort of uh, understanding from uncertainty where government institutes or organizations um, or um, people who was um, um, not doing their work properly and ensuring that the correct data being pulled in it is going to be coming out and it's going to be showing up. All right, I got a message as you recognize when I was um, um, shuffling the card, I got a message and it's for the um, third week going in the fourth week with the energy of the magician. Um, this is two message, okay? And we're going to be seeing what is coming up. All right, so um, people were playing and had their own agenda. This is at risk. So, um, co-workers, uh, employees in a government, in a corporation institution was playing and took a risk. Okay. They took a risk because they had their own agenda and, uh, um, it, it, it is just a huge corporation or an institution, a group of people in a huge corporation institution take a risk, but it didn't work out. Okay. So you're going to be recognizing that they did take a risk but it's not going to be working out in their favor because people now recognize um, what had transpired. The truth came out about a huge theft. Okay, the truth is going to be coming out about a huge theft, the energy of the rat and the secrets um, and the eye princess. So the truth is going to be coming out about a huge, huge theft. Here it is. The secret is going to be coming out of about a huge death. That is going to be coming up in the third and fourth week where they are going to be having information and some sort of a secret is going to be coming out of a huge, huge death. So um, definitely this is coming out in the third week. Okay. And the risk, here it is. The energy of the risk is with the devil. And of course, this is gambling. Somebody gamble a situation, took a risk, and it didn't work out. So don't do any gamble and take any risk in the last week. Um, energy of risk is like, uh, you know that you're doing something that you're not supposed to do. They're now going to be recognizing the energy of the fox. They're going to be recognizing that someone tried to do something in order to get some sort of a new start. And it is going to be coming out or it is as if uh, people were selling data information underneath the table or taking risk with data information. The secret is going to be coming out and they're going to be recognizing. So this could be um, co-workers are being uh, found out what they were doing and the risks they were taking and how they took these risks. So this is going to be coming out. The energy of the fox is that there was some sort of an investigation that has happened and transpired um, so that people could have recognized that people were um, desperately taking risk in a wrong way. People were risking a whole lot of situation in a wrong way. All right. Uh, so let's look at the rest of the energy. Then we're going to be Telling you guys which week is good for you guys. Energy of April, please, angels. Come in and show us the energy of April. This is the um, energy card deck. What is going to be the energy of April? Action, action, action. Number 17. Action, action, action. So a lot of you are going to be asked to take a lot of action. Number 17. Oh my God, double 17. Then we have 17 again, and it is the ghost, uh, the ghost land, ghost land, another time 17. So April is showing up, um, the energy. Let's see what is coming in. Success and growth, success and growth. So, um, this, um, this message is really, really good. Twice 17 and eight. 
17 and 17 is also 8. So it's 3 times 8 in the month of April. Isn't that fab, 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 darlings? Is the Wheel of Fortune and uh, um, 3 times 8. Okay, so um, this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So you have the 17 Take Action Ghost Land and Success and Growth that is going to be coming up. Um, twice 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. 3 times 8. So this is a significant, significant month. Um, infinity Wisdom and is a lucky month because this month is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune with 3 times 8. 8 is about luck. Luck. Money. Okay. And um, I'm going to be um, um, leaving the message what is three times eight under this video because a lot of people are saying seven is the lucky number. No, seven is only a lucky number if you were born um, with your lucky number being seven. Okay, eight is infinity money. And whenever you see eight, it's about money. It's about infinity Okay, so, um, you know, people need to recognize and before they start to put things out, they need to recognize um, and give the correct information. Seven is about you're moving in a good direction on a good part. Seven is a spiritual number. Eight is the energy of infinity, abundancy. And that is what this month of April is going to be because we have uh, taken action, go slam, success and growth taking action go slam success and growth this is absolutely absolutely fabulous now um ladies and gentlemen so they're going to be uh, recognized that someone people had their own agenda they took a risk the secret is now out and some of you are going to be released from a group of people who had uh, their own agenda and was trying to block something and now it's not no more it's going to be happening because uh, you are going to be coming out of this this is just so powerful ladies and gentlemen write these number down twice seven and the number eight uh, this is three times eight this is going to be a successful month the month of april wow twice seven don't worry about ghost land ghost land is going to be affecting the Sagittarians, okay, and the Gemini action, taking action. So let's look and see who is going to be affected, who is here, who is not here. All right, so we see um, the Taurus is here, the Virgos are here, and the Capricorns are here. It's the Earth week in the first week. In the second week, um, we have the Wheel of Fortune that is going to be affecting everyone. We have Justice, which is the Libran, and we have... Uh, um, strength is the Sagittarian and they are in ghost town. Okay. Um, then we look at the third week. We see the hermit is uh, the Pisces. Um, we see another sign of the movement, which is the chariot. Um, the chariot is seen as a fire energy and it has to be do with the Leos. Then we see, um, the Gemini, the magician. So that is good. Um, and I see a Gemini is going to be working um, to resolve some sort of a situation. Then we see the energy of the devil. And the energy of the devil has to do with the Aries. And they're going to be recognizing some sort of a information. People said the devil energy is the Capricorn. No, it's not. A Capricorn is a mountain goat, okay? Um, it, the Capricorn is the goat and the fish. And the energy of the ram is the energy of the devil, okay? The Tauruses or the bull. Then we see secrets. So Pisces is going to be re 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 uh, revealing secret. The eye princess is the energy of the Pisces. The hermit is the energy of the Pisces and the scorpions. So the scorpions and the Pisces in the third week, the Pisces is back in the energy of the devil. And this is a, um, a really strange one for a lot of people. It depends on how... You look at it. Then we see the energy of the Aquarians. And the Aquarians is going to be affected in the last week, the end of the last week. All right. So um, uh, Earth sign, you're good for the first week. Fire signs are good for the second week. Um, uh, the Aquarians, air sign, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, you're good for the 
end of the last uh, of the third week uh, going in the last of the fourth week okay um uh i the cancer can carry the energy of the chariot okay it can carry the energy of the the chariot the cancers are the only one that is not really present okay uh scorpion is hermit and pisces um the leas and the sagittarians are here and the aries okay um we see the gemini and the aquarian and the libran is here libran is in the third week um so um cancers there's something about cancers um that is not showing up so cancers be aware of this because there's something about you cancers that is not showing up all right go um check out your reading and um uh, your um zodiac sign of the cancer go check it out and then you'll recognize what is transpiring i do love you guys please remember to thumbs up like and share these reading come back and look at each and every week to see where your placement is i do love you namaste until next time oh there you go ladies and gentlemen <laughs>